All right, so I'm sitting here in the shop. I just did a capacity test on this Sycon 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery for my Amazon page. Um, maybe I'll place a link to what I'm talking about in the description below where I, I do like product reviews for Amazon as well. And I try not to bore you guys with a, a lot of that, but the one question over and over and over and over and over I get is, I put my battery charger on my battery and it won't charge. What's wrong with my lithium battery? Why won't it charge? Well, I got a charger, it's plugged into the wall, it says off, positive, positive, negative, negative. And the battery charger will not power on. And mainly because this battery BMS, since it shut off during the capacity test, is pretty much went to sleep. So how do we get this right here battery charger to kick back on and charge this battery? Because right now it's not gonna charge. You can leave it like right here all day long, it's not gonna charge. Well, this is what I would do. If you have a battery that's similar in voltage, okay? It don't have to be 100%, you know, uh, the, the, the same voltage or, you know, it don't have to be charged up pretty much what I'm saying. Get you a lug, a cable lug. And I have another battery. I'm going to introduce it here in just a minute. We're going to do positive, positive, and negative to negative. I tell everybody this. I say, try this. I say, if you have another battery, you can try this. Last night, I was talking to someone, and they asked the same question. So, I'll show you guys this as well. Okay, There's my lug here and my lug here. I'm gonna get another battery. This is gonna be a Tim Got battery here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. So this battery, I'm gonna take the black and the red. Watch this right here. We're going red to red, black to black. So positive, positive, negative, negative. Black's on here, red's on here. Once I touch it right here, the charger's gonna turn on. Once the charger turns on, we can then remove these right here battery cables from this accessory or the spare battery here. The charger will stay running. Charger just turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. The battery is now awake. You ain't gotta worry about anything now. Okay, we can remove this battery here away from the system. And it's now gonna charge and the charger's cut on you see the little lights right there starting to go up 11.8 volts 19.9 amps it says 0, 0.0 amp hours 75 degrees fahrenheit 24 degrees celsius back to 11.9 volts and this is just going to keep repeating this and as the battery starts to charge the amp hours on the charger is going to start showing more amp hours the voltage will go up. The amperage is starting to go up as well. This is a 20 amp charger and it's already at 20 amps. But if you have a lithium battery, some of the other um, lithium batteries for golf carts, I've had to do this very same thing too. And that's something you guys might be uh, interested in. Uh, if your battery goes to sleep, this is one thing you can try. I hope this right here will help someone out.